Hey y'all, this is Octavia the Great coming to y'all on this wonderful Wednesday with another video. All right, I am on Instagram. As y'all always know, I love, love to do stories off of Instagram. All right, this is from the Destroy Fear 22 page. All right, this is dealing with the shooting that happened in Georgia over a face mask. Now, this is what Tariq uh, Nasheed put up on his page. A suspected white uh, supremacist. Supremacist? Whatever, y'all. Named Victor Lee Tucker was told to wear a mask by a female cashier at a store in DeKalb County, Georgia. He came back with a gun, then shot and killed the cashier. And he wounded others, including the sheriff deputy. And he was brought in alive. Now, when I first heard this story, which was a couple of days ago, I'm like, eh, that sounds like a white man. Now, they got this picture up. We're like, oh, he look crazy. You know, your typical domestic terrorist. Okay, so we'll go to the next page. All right, John Cardillo wrote on his Twitter, Tariq Nashi is a race-baiting liar and moron who, who completely fabricated this and posted a pic of someone who was not the suspect to create a false narrative. False narrative that the killer was a white man. The killer, Victor Lee Tucker Jr., is a black man. They go to jail information, black male, six foot, 185 pounds. And this is how he looked. This is Victor Tucker Jr. Yesterday he killed a cashier, then shot and wounded an off-duty off duty deputy coming to help in Georgia after being told to put a mask on in the store. The internet was a buzz that he was a Trump supporter, conservative, and a white supremacist. Spoiler, you black. All right. So I'm busy like, ooh. So let me go and see. All right, give me a second, y'all. Then boom. On Sandra Rose's page. This was on Monday. It was an update. All right. I'm going to read this real quick. The GBI identified the suspect who failed to shot a supermarket cashier and wanted a reserve deputy during an argument over wearing a face mask. Vicka Lee Tucker Jr., 30, of Palmetto, Georgia, got into a heated argument with an unnamed female cashier at the, at the Big Bear supermarket on Candler Road in Decatur just after 1 p.m. on Monday. The argument was over Tucker refusing to wear a mask in the store. Decal Sheriff's Office spokeswoman Cynthia Williams confirmed to AJC.com. Authorities said Tucker left the store, then immediately returned and shot the cashier in the head. She was rushed to a local hospital where she was pronounced dead. A reserve deputy who was working part-time as a security guard in the store heard the commotion and confronted the suspect. The deputy and suspect were both shot during the exchange of gunfire. The officer was transported to Atlanta Medical Center where he is listed in critical condition. Tucker was taken to Grady Memorial Hospital in Atlanta where he is in stable condition. A bullet grazed the second cashier who was treated at the scene by medics. Tucker was arrested by responding officers as he tried to crawl out of the supermarket. He is well known to store employees who say he has mental problems. The GBI is leading the um, shooting investigation. Masks are not mandated in Georgia and many residents don't wear masks. I have a private businesses still mandate masks as part of their store policy. A sign outside the grocery store advises a shop to wear a mask inside the store, but some shoppers disregard the signage. All right. Let me see how my time. Okay, I'm doing good timing, y'all. So, as you see, like when the story came out, let me go back to the other page right quick. The same day that the um, shooting happened, that night, Tariq Nasheed put out this, uh, put out this tweet. Now, Sandra Rose did the same story the same day, and normally Sandra Rose stories come out a little bit earlier, early in the day to the mid evening. So. Tariq Nasheed is sitting up here looking like a fool. And many people listen to this man because he do have good content from the hidden colors and other little things that he's spoken about over the years. But the thing is, you got to be careful with, you got to be careful following anybody because one, you don't know if the person is being truthful or are they leading from a helpful position instead of helping themselves out because this right here is race baiting. And we have to call out black people who do that, too, because some situations, we all have our thoughts when we hear about things that happen in the news. Oh, that was a white person. Oh, they sound like a white person. 
in some cases it is not and we are shocked at times when the black people who committing some of these crimes that are hysterical typical white <clears throat> excuse me and um like that case down in florida where the two teenagers had a shootout with the cops now i wasn't sure what they race were i'm like dang they could be white black hispanic because it's florida but come to find out with two white children you know Sometimes it's just a mystery. Other times, like, oh, I know who did it. And other times, it's a shocker. So, to read she is being dangerous right now because you set up here and use another person's image to incite some type of racial um, rage, which wasn't needed in this situation. Now, hopefully, you backtrack and uh, apologize to your fans and to other people because this could set off a chain of reaction and end up causing an issue, which isn't needed because there's enough issues as it is, you know. So, you see that it was this black dude who did, and my thing is with this dude, and, and, and I ain't gonna cap to y'all. I'm kind of tired of people using, using the excuse of so-called mental problem when people are just assholes. And that's straight up. We don't seen it in stores. and seen it in places right now. In places, certain people want to play crazy. Well, what when a certain person, police or a certain thing get said, they calm that shit down real quick. I remember the situation years ago. This dude was cutting up, waiting on the bus. I'm talking about acting a fool, sounding crazy, doing all type of stuff. But as soon as that bus got got there, oh, you calm that up. Got on the bus and then start back acting crazy. That's why half the time people do have real mental issues. Real mental issues. But there are some people who are faking the phone. And we got to call it for what it is. This dude got into an argument with, and you know, half the time, most of these men is um, punks in the damn way. You went out, you had an argument with a female cashier. I don't know what the race of the woman woman is, and it don't matter, and it kind of don't matter. But it do matter to a degree if it was a black woman because at the end of the day, quit, we need to quit harming each other. But another thing is you, uh, some of you men need to quit being punks and having the attitude getting mad and want to go crazy and come back and shoot people. That serves no purpose. And guess what? Y'all are so dumb and ain't, uh, and uh, I can't even get out. Y'all are so dumb. That y'all even think about y'all gonna get caught. That your life gonna get destroyed too. No, I'm gonna be ignorant and sit up here and come back and shoot, shoot somebody in the head. Shoot another person. End up getting shot. Now you got hit with a murder charge, attempted murder charge. Felonious assault with a firearm. For what? Because uh, a business told you that you need to wear a mask in their business. The business do have a right about keeping masks on. They have their right. You see it in grocery stores and all type of stuff. So, that right there was no need for no argument. Put your mask on, get what you need to get, and get the hell on. Nope, I want to argue, be ignorant, and next thing you know, I'm going to end up taking somebody's life. Why? Because I didn't want to wear a mask in the grocery store. Something simple. And then on top of what, I, like I said, I, I hate the fact that most of these men, no matter what your race is, y'all go so hard at these females, but won't do nothing against no man, won't do nothing against no white supremacy, won't do nothing against no racism or any other ism. You just sit there, go along and be alone, or, or causing the type of terror any damn way. People get tired of that. You get tired of seeing these weak, straight men, quote unquote straight men, sitting up here acting like a whole bunch of bitches. Sit up here hurting and harming every damn body left and damn right for no reason. This across all races. These random shootings, these people getting hurt and all type of things for what? For no reason. Because people out here um, having a bad day. Man, go on somewhere. People start defending yourself. Crack people across their skulls, hit them in the mouth. It's all about protecting yourself now because it's open season across all, all statuses, races, and creeds. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know what y'all think. Like, share, and comment. I am Octavius Great, and enjoy the rest of your day.